Hi, I'm Jill Segerman, and today I am talking with Andrea Tell Summers, and Andrea is a Montessori assistant teacher in an early childhood classroom. Andrea, welcome. Thank you so much, Jill. Um, so today we're talking about lifelong learning. I know that that is a passion of yours. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah, and my first question to you is, so how does lifelong learning bring you joy? I love learning. I finished doing a course and I said, okay, I'm going to take a break. And right after I'm like, okay, what I'm going to study next? You know, it's just, I finished my training, then I finish and I'm like, what I'm going to do next? I feel that I need that learning to be a better teacher, to serve better my students. Um, it is not just, a, it is not about me, it's what I can do better to serve them better. So, um, yes, that is, uh, made me really feel good. It made me feel that I am more prepared. I can, um, especially being English, my second language, sometimes that is, even though people tell me, oh, that's wonderful. That is, you know, you speak two languages. Sometimes that make me feel insecure because I know I don't speak perfect. I learned English when I was older. So, um, you know, I am still learning and I will be learning during my whole life because that's what my English teacher said, you will be learning forever. So I always tell the kids in the classroom, you know, we learn from each other. And I think that's a good model for them to know that I'm still learning. And I always tell them, you can correct me. And they love that part because they can say, oh, you don't, I, one time I was reading a story and I say the word child a little bit different. And, the, and one little girl, she turned around and very sweetly, she correct me and she turned around, she's waiting for me to repeat like she said. And the story kept going. So I love those moments where they realize I am still learning as well. And we can learn from each other. I, I teach them Spanish, they teach me English. I always say, I'm still learning. So I think that's, that's a good experience for them and for me too. Um, so you are a, a busy person. You're a mom, you're a teacher, but yeah. how do you, so how do you find the time to keep learning? Um, yes, I am a busy person and sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to take a break. I know I need to do it, but it's just, is that motivation inside that I find the time because I have a very supportive ha husband. Um, right now working at Xavier, then I can take courses at Xavier. So my girls can to school with me and then my husband came to pick them up the days that I'm taking classes. And then on the weekends, I do my homework or at night later, do my readings and watch my videos. Now that is all online. And being English learner, it takes me twice the time, sometimes to do the readings. So that is, um, it is, it is a challenge, but I just, I am just so motivated to learn more, more about Montessori. You know, sometimes I'm reading and I go, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I can't stop <laughs> So, um, yes, I, you know, it can be tricky, you know, sometimes the house is not very organized because I need to complete some um, tasks for my class, but then we, you know, everything is good and we work together. I think the support of my family is, is the most important in this journey, I would say. You talked about um, how being a lifelong learner is important to you, and you talked about what it gives your students in your classroom, um, but you're also a part of a team. So as a teacher, you're part of a school with other teachers. Do you feel that being a lifelong learner brings anything to that part of your life? I think so. I think, you know, often I hear uh, other teachers say, how do you know? Um, you should take a break. But, you know, I think it brings because, you know, for me, I am an early childhood certified uh, Montessori teacher. But I think it is very important for me to know what is coming next. So if I have some students that need a little bit more, I can help in that transition. Or also, you know, at home with my kids. Um, my older daughter is in upper elementary and my younger one is in lower elementary. So now that I'm finishing my lower elementary training, I understand so much more, you know, of what they are doing. So um, I think it brings also to our team 
because I can, you know, sometimes I can give, oh, why don't we tweak a little bit here and there to help this student and, and so on. So I think it does motivate them in certain way. You know, some teachers, you know, some of my uh, peers say, well, I should take some classes too, you know. So I think it's a little bit contagious, I will say, because they want to, you know, also take some classes or improve or be better. Yeah. Um, so, and I can see the joy on your face when you talk about it, which is lovely. Yeah, I am just so, um, it, it was so funny because before I was a traditional educator. And when I walk into a Montessori school, you know, I was in another country before where there was not much Montessori going around, I will say. So it was hard for me to picture, even though I studied at college Montessori before, it was hard to imagine what, what it was all about. But when I moved to the U.S. and I walked into the Montes the first school I visited was a Montessori school. I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? And that was it. I was going, my, my plan was to visit different schools, but it didn't happen because that was my school. I started to visit every week. I started to do observations without knowing I was doing observations. I started to read about Montessori. I started to kind of, you know, learn by myself. And then, you know, I was just, in law, I start, you know, everything start to make sense. Like, and that was, you know, so it's really my passion. Montessori is really a passion. And when I'm not working or doing homework, I may find an article and I start reading about Montessori. So yeah, it's, yes, it is my passion, I would say. Well, I can absolutely see it on your face. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today and to share your passion with us. Thank you so much, Jill. I hope, you know, this can inspire someone to keep learning. Well, you've inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Your support fuels our work. Visit amshq.org donate to find out how you can help.